Welcome to another Anarion Kaitos Gaming This video with me, Anarion Kaito. Well, today we got a couple of things to discuss. Thursdays is still one of those days of the week where I'm undecided as to what to talk about unless there's a really big release or some decent news lying around. Keeping things Destiny for the day, I'd like to talk about Destiny and Destiny 2 all together, specifically at what we can expect for content on Destiny 2. Before we head off, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and we hit the 100 mark. I appreciate the support and I'm still getting a grasp on things considering I don't just play Destiny and I really wouldn't want to be labeled as a Destiny channel per se. So I'm still working on that. Anyways, in an interview with Games Radar, Destiny 2's game director Luke Smith gave a brief explanation on how Bungie is shaping the game. Bottoms this, less of a grind, more of a come back to play thing. I'm gonna give you guys a warning, this is not a rant, but I'm definitely giving my opinion on this, so please bear with me and keep an open mind, alright? In my eyes, Destiny has had no clue what the hell they're doing from the start. Even Luke Smith himself said it when he said, and I quote, I don't think we always knew exactly what we were making. No shit, Sherlock. You start off the game with an amazing story, the stranger, the traveler, the light and the darkness, then in less than six months you gave up I guess? Everything after that has been a revamp of the same old thing, almost making it look like you're not even trying. Now the problem with this is simple, the last three years Bungie has been saying we just don't have the time, we're working on Destiny 2. Well that pretty much sums the shit bag. With Destiny 2 we see a more broader story margin, going from we don't know what the stranger or the darkness are, to we really really didn't know what we were talking about. Now they're saying we want this game to be a game you can return to every week. Newsflash, it already is. With a decent group of friends you can do everything in Destiny in a day or two, tops. Yes, you're making an MMO based fantasy first person shooter. It will tie you down. It will make you grind at least at first. But telling me you're gonna make it easier so that it already is? It's just because 5% of the player base is complaining it's hard now. It's just bogus. Of course, it's going to be harder now. You missed the last 3 years and expect to do everything in a month. It's an online game, not a let's pass it in 5 minutes thing. I agree with a lot of things Destiny 2 brings to the table and I for one am not complaining about the changes. Starting over from scratch, different supers, change of storyline and big ol' Gary to begin with. Hell yes! Sign me up first line, however, if you make it more casual than it already is, well, welcome to Warframe, can I take your order? We all know how that went, but those are free to play games, Destiny is a masterpiece all on its own. There is a ton of help and tips in the game already, now you wanna add a button that tells you what to do? What about figuring out what to do? Actually using your brain to figure out strategies, to think of better alternatives. Could it be that Destiny is upset that we as Guardians keep on finding different ways to do the raids than they didn't think of? Do I sense a bit of salt or is it just PR diplomacy in the making? What do you think Guardians? I have dips on their next excuse being, oh we're working on Destiny 3. So all in all. This doesn't mean we won't choose our own path or make our decisions, it just means we will have other options to consider. And let's not forget, this is an awesome game, it's not work or anything. I for one would definitely love to see more matchmaking. As a solo player, it is a bit hard to do things with a steady group every week, so every once in a while being able to do matchmaking is… everything might help. Look, DCUO. It works for them, and they've been at it for a long time. Come to think of it, there's a lot of things Destiny could learn from DCUO. Anyways, that's all for today. I don't expect a lot of views on this one since it's mainly me rambling, but if you are watching this till the very end, leave a comment. I want an open discussion on what you think. Hit me up with a subscription and a thumbs up for the like. I'll be doing in a few days a video of the 10 types of guardians, in my own perspective it has been fun developing those personalities and it will be fun to show them, you'll see. I'll see you tomorrow with my search briefing as I get ready for the long weekend of wedding preparations. See you later guardians.